This is a story about finding friends in your 20s. In 1995, two girls were born on opposite sides of the world, one on a tropical island and the other in the concrete jungle. They both like to surf and make silly little videos. In 2023, they both traveled to a tiny surf town, Gurbrook. And as always, both make a silly video about Lombok. The chance of them meeting is 0.00009%. But that changes one day when their silly little videos get recommended to each other's For You page. C decided to reach out. I know it's crazy, but if you're down, can I see you tomorrow? What made you reach out to me? I just thought you're a good storyteller, that's it. Like, I like your videos, it's cool and I want to be friend, that's it. What if I was a murderer? <laughs> I mean, to be honest, I trust people very easily and I don't think she's a murderer. And if you're watching still, I guess we're still here. <laughs> she just got an office notice that she has to move back to work in the office on Monday at 9 a.m. And deep down she knows, if she doesn't go to meet her now, she might never get the chance again. She brought the flight ticket. Wait, where are you staying? Oh, actually, I don't know. I have to text some friends, to be honest. I used to live there, so like maybe some friends can let me crash it. <laughs> I technically don't have a place to stay. It's expensive right there right now, Airbnbs. But I can't afford to live in a hotel. <laughs> we have about 10 minutes to pack. Let's go. We're definitely running a little bit late. I just finished packing. I might not make it to the flight because I forgot how bad the traffic in LA is. We made it. As usual, Delta TSA line is just extremely slow due to not enough employee. There's only one person working at TSA, but the line is so long, like my bag is waiting for them to get checked. She's gonna miss her flight. Even the TSA lady says she's gonna miss her flight. But in the meanwhile, Rena is so excited. Go surfing, maybe go to Waikiki, maybe go to Bond Dance. Like literally, there's no way I can make it to the flight, but the flight got delayed. Reina is taking us to her favorite poke spot in Honolulu, and of course, we got dessert too. And now she's taking us to her favorite view spot. Our little side character. Welcome to Waikiki. To have a little picnic while enjoying the food. Wow. Yeah, we can watch the surfers. So when can you surf here? When it's not windy. So when it's not windy. It's never not windy. <laughs> That's the view. There's a rainbow here. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know how to emphasize how crazy this sound, but Reina does not know me at all. But she let me sleep in her house. Like that's a lot of so ass just to a normal friend. But imagine it's a friend that you never met in person and technically <laughs> you guys don't know each other. Like what if I'm gonna rob her? Diamond head pops up, diamond head. Oh, very Social network does make it easy for you to meet wow. lots of people. But to actually go from internet friends to real life friends, one of you has to reach out and one of you has to be open about it. I think you're my first internet friend, actual internet friend. <laughs> we didn't even FaceTime together. No. Yeah, I DM her and I was like, I know this sounds crazy, but can I come tomorrow? <laughs> and then she was like, okay, well. The algorithm really worked in our favor here, where it's like, here's this Asian girl that likes surfing and likes filmmaking and likes to make these type of videos. People tend to fade nowadays, especially when they're in their adulthood. It does really help when two 
friends have the same interests and want to do the same activity. Thank you for coming. This is a famous surf spot in Ala Moana. Locals love to surf here, so definitely be respectful. Today, there's actually not many people at a parking spot or parked at. Usually, it's never open. We were actually out here for three hours, and these are the ways we have caught. <laughs> Being on the island definitely changed my view toward myself a lot. It's the first time I see that many tan Asians in the same place, and it does crazy things to my brain when knowing tan Asians are considered as beautiful here. Go in. Yeah, I'll follow you. Yeah. My boy thinks your friend is cute. She has a plan. She does. Oh. I know. Oh, you cannot talk to her. Anymore. Um, where I was changing, like this boy was literally hitting up Reina, hardcore. How was it? What's the conversation for a starter? I was like, like, how old is this boy? And he's like, I'm 22. How old are you? And I was like, bitch, I'm 29 and married. <laughs> Papa, you look so young. He's never seen an Asian before. Suddenly, the world I used to know, I see it differently. You woke me from a dream. So right now we're actually doing a little icebreaker activity. We're gonna shoot each other. And then hopefully by shooting each other, we get to know each other more. Hopefully she gives me some posing tips. I don't have any. <laughs> I feel like one of my biggest insecurities of being a surfer girl is that I don't really look like a surfer girl and I feel like I don't have the body of a surfer girl. <laughs> So I'm a little nervous. <laughs> I don't have the body, that Pinterest vibe, you know, a lot of, it's very Brandy Melville vibes sometimes. I always feel like a wet dog after a shower. Your niche. <laughs> What's your niche trash? <laughs> We're just gonna shoot on our phones, but this is the inspo. Cause I don't really have nose bridge, so I'm a bit like concerned with my side face. No, it looks but... good, wait. Oh, you made me feel so pretty. You're so pretty. <laughs> It's a little hard to get with the phone, but... Wow! You like it? Wow! You like it? <laughs> I like okay. candid stuff, if that's okay. So I, I'm just gonna like walk around, maybe sit down. You tell me what to do. Okay. I kind of just want this background. Let's, Let's see your see. direction skills. Okay, three, two, one, ding! Yep, do that. Keep doing it. Oh my God, that's cute. Okay, look at trying my hat. Okay. Like body a little angle towards me. Like the other way, yeah. And just like, just play around, just look up, and then look more this way. I'm living my best life. Try chin down a little bit, yeah, not too much. And when were you looking this way? Thank you for getting me out of my comfort zone. <laughs> you think so? <laughs> Sorry, I'm not the greatest. Dude, no, you're the best. I go back and then just walk. I walk. It's like nice to have somebody just Push yeah, me like too. Okay, yep. I feel like the more you see yourself, the more you will realize how beautiful you are. I think it just, you haven't seen yourself in front of lens for so long. Maybe that's why you're self cautious. But once you see a lot, <laughs> you would say, oh, this bitch is beautiful. Watch me start crying. <laughs> uh, people are just so nice here. <laughs> I look a little bit naked here. I promise I'm wearing something. <laughs> She was always mentioning how people are so nice here. Literally right after I said, oh, people are so nice, the lifeguard gave me his mountain apple today. It's yeah, and, and he ate one in front of us too. Yeah, and... To show that it's not poisonous. Yeah, exactly. And then he told me the one that I had was the best one. I was like, oh, thank yes. you. Today, we're gonna try our luck. We're gonna go up to North Shore, which probably not gonna break either, but at least it's beautiful. ASMR. <laughs> Okay, let's go! 
according to a report, it is flat. Another tanning day. How's the surf condition? Well, it's a little bit on shore. I think we need a bigger board, but even then, it looks, I don't know, it's just too small. Both of us love surfing, so we are going to attempt to surf today, even though on the forecast, there might be no waves today. During winter, it gets quite big. I feel like I'm editing a one-month documentary, even though it was only a weekend. Getting to know each other through the same passion we share is the quickest way to get to know a person. Hi, Reina. If you're watching this, is it too early to tell you I love you? I'm sorry. I did not catch any wave. Cut the stock footage of girls surfing. Exactly. <laughs> It's flat. We're well, gonna go get some food. Thank you for shopping at Pizza. I need to pee. Me too. I'm very lucky to be able to meet a person that shares the same interest with me and coming from the same background. There are many people who are interested in surfing but there are not many people who are interested in surfing, but also are 10 Asian, but from East Asia. I have zero marketing skills. I'm just but an emotional are, mess. No. <laughs> I feel you're a freelancer. Freelancer, they're a marketer. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. You're being Asian right now. I'm no, trying dude, to give I'm you a fucking I know, compliment. Dude, I know, I'm and you sorry. keep playing down. I can't take your dude, compliments. Can you fucking... I'm Asian, I'm Japanese. I, I reject your compliments. C has never been to Bond Dance before. I'm in Japan. <laughs> it's a Japanese tradition where the time when our ancestors come back to visit. So it's like when the spirits come back. That's all I know. I'm not going to explain anymore because I don't want to butcher it. It's a Japanese tradition and it's popular here because there's a lot of Japanese people in Hawaii. So first time ever. So excited. Thank you for inviting me. Thank you for coming all the way here. Chinese girl tries Japanese bond dance for the first time. Damn, that's the title. That's very, that's very exotic. That sounds like all oh, everything we needed. There's like a dance that we do. I just follow along because I don't know the dance. So then everyone's in a circle and usually like the inner circle is like the the aunties that know what they're doing so i kind of watch them oh, oh, yes. okay. so all you have to do is find a little pocket and then find the one that you want to to make a surf vlog but since we haven't surfed yet really we haven't catch any waves so we might have to call this a travel vlog <laughs> <laughs> meeting a stranger for the first time, time. <laughs> <laughs> good morning sleepyhead 
So today is a big day. We are actually going to volunteer. So we're just gonna stop by 7-Eleven. It's my favorite store, 7-Eleven. <laughs> So back then when I was living in North Shore, we didn't really have money. 7-Eleven back then was like $1. It has changed. It's no longer $1 anymore. My memory lane has been destroyed. Ding! <laughs> mm. I feel like when I'm driving down from North Shore, down to town, usually there's no place like a rest stop where you can pee, unless the ocean or you just raw dog style. So this McDonald's is the only spot we go all the time. And it's like, a, they have this $1 big size coke and me and my friend we just each get one and then we go pee there and then you're gonna have to pee again oh i wasn't thinking about that at that time well why would you you should share coke <laughs> i wasn't i wasn't thinking about that part that's exactly why i mean when i say i was young and dumb <laughs> maybe that's why i was broke <laughs> so we just got here we will see you later then <laughs> We are harvesting taro today. This is what poi is made out of. The volunteers were very sweet and taught us how to do it. I honestly love to walk in this. It's a very interesting texture, but it feels good. <laughs> Here's what I was taught about harvesting them. Use your feet to help lift the root a bit before pulling. Take all the extra stems out and the leaves out. But keep at least two leaves. You cut down the edge here and you can replant the taro with it. I did not expect we get the chance to sit for the first part. <laughs> what a luxury. Because we are all sitting together, I get to know the other volunteers. And then my, my grandma is 50% Chinese, 50% that's so cool! Yeah, so I get a so lot. So you have some Chinese in it. Yeah, I, I'm actually mostly Chinese. So now we need to get rid of the weeds in this field. I did not know Lily loved this kind of environment, and they are so yeah, big. Grab, grab as close to the roots as you can, or like on the roots. Uh, and then you the goal today, just clean up all the weed. Wow, nice try, wow. Oh my god, I forgot to paint mama. Okay, I gotta clean. Okay, what the fuck? Crazy, but... So see, the goal is like keep them healthy, you know, but then there's some weed in here. Honestly, me and Reina did not expect we can finish this field at all. But later on, a big group came in and helped. And we did it. Yes, I can't believe we did all this. That's crazy. Because it was full before. Yeah, it really helped when everyone else came. <laughs> I guess struggle does bring people together. Here's my personal experience of volunteering. People are just so freaking nice. Like, I did not expect that because they don't know us. Like, they already been working there for a long time, but they're just so sweet to me. Yeah, I feel like I'm part of something. Like, I feel like I know them, if that makes sense. That's how welcoming the whole volunteering experience is. Every time I see her, it's like, I just see her for the first time. So if you ever hear, definitely try something like that. It's mm -hmm. very fulfilling for sure. There's a few different volunteer opportunities that you can have. I think there's like the fish ponds and then there's the lo'i. And of course there's beach cleanups and stuff, but it's always good to just volunteer. I think it'll be good, especially as um, somebody that's visiting. How do you want to live this life? I mean, I love making videos, but deep down, I'm not sure, I'm not confident enough that I'm good enough to make a living out of it. I do feel like being in your late 20s, it's very different from being in your early 20s. It's like, it's kind of embarrassing to say that you're trying to do content creation in your late 20s compared to yeah. early on. Content creation is just like your freelance job, but now instead of selling other people's photos, you sell your own. <laughs> Oh, 
the circle of sea and rain today. We are trying to attempt to surf again at Waikiki today. We are going to party there today. Yeah, what is the surfer for right now? Uh, small. <laughs> but bigger than last time. Yeah, exactly. Not flat. And the water is blue. The sun is out. It's less windy today. So the goal for us to be as far as possible, but it was really hard. Time to We're gonna take her to Marukame because she's craving Asian food and I guess she doesn't get a lot of Asian food back home. Because majority of I uh, if you have Caucasian friend. They can only eat Asian food maybe one time per week. But I want to eat Asian three times a day and every day. Have I syllable though? <laughs> That's I the mean, fear. That's the fear maybe. There's only you, one you in the whole world. So it doesn't matter what you're trying to sell. Whatever you're selling, it's going to be unique. You can't find another Reina, you know? Oh, I might cry. <laughs> I don't want to cry though.